And here's the review for BotCon 2008 Shattered Glass Evil Autobot Grimlock. Um, this one I actually, unlike some of the others, knew right off the bat I was going to like. Um, he's a slightly darker gray than his classics release, um, along with, you know, with clearly the Triptychonish purple and orange and green highlights um, that look really good on him and the silver claws. I mean, this... I really wasn't expecting him to look this good in person, and he and he and he lived up to it. I really, really like this. I know some people don't, but I really like the the design and the color scheme on this guy. Um, transformation is the same as the classics. I did own the classics, and I'm actually I sold off a lot of my classics a while back, so I'm glad to have this mold back in my collection. Um, same with the with Rodimus and Optimus from this set as well, because um, like I said, the only the only classics I still have are, um, I've got last year's Dreadwind and, um, Cliff Jumper and Bumblebee. And I think that's it. Those are the only classics molds I still had in the house until, um, until I got these set today. And, and like I said, all three of these figures are ones I'm glad to have back in the house. Um, anyway, you transform, you open up his mouth, pop off his tail, um, pull his legs down like that, flip these up. Open these up into his feet and split the legs apart. And I keep doing that. But um, that piece was cracked earlier when I got it. But I fixed it and it's still a little loose, but um, but not the end of the world. Um, stand him up. Rotate his waist this way. His head this way. Um, and then this whole chest piece rotates around. The arm plugs in right here. And when this arm flips around and plugs in right here and this flips down and around uh, the panels flip down and they still have not corrected the uh, locking problem from the classics release of this mold these flaps still don't do anything useful in locking the shoulders in place so they're, they're I think they feel a little tighter than the classics version it may have just been that my old one was loose um, but they're, they're certainly still not not nearly as solid as they could be if they'd fixed that flat piece. Um, the tail can be held in his hand as a weapon. If you, uh, you flip this little piece in, he can hold it as a weapon. I, I generally don't. I generally just keep the tail stored on his back, like so. And um, he can hold his sword slash gun. It does fire an orange missile. And again, this one. I really, especially in robot mode, I really do this color scheme. The, the orange light piping in his eyes, I can't tell, is um, really, really good. It really catches the light. Um, and all the clear orange plastic, the, the purple and the green and the orange and the black and the dark gray all look really good. And I really, really am just super excited about this figure. I'm glad to have him. Um, and, and again, if you have the means to pick him up because you missed out on BotCon for whatever reason, I would definitely put him in the top two of figures to get. Um, the other one, the other one, I'd, I'd have to probably say Optimus because that mode's just solid. But Rodimus is also a very nice figure. But there he is, um, Botcon 2008 Shattered Glass Evil Autobot Grimlock.